Cynogen mod is born on 25th of May 2009. T-Mobile G1 or the HTC Dream. This was an Android device which was released in September 2008. And XTA recognized developer Jesus Freak aka JF had already rooted it and was also publishing custom ROMs for this smartphone. Another XTA user with the name Cynogen, real name being Steve Kondek, released Cynogen Mod 3 for the very same device on 25th of May 2009. And of course, Cynogen Mod 3 was based on Jesus Freak or JF's work. What is interesting here is the thread title for Cynogen Mod 3. It was called Optimizing the Crap out of android now how did the name cyanogen mod came up well very simple steve cyanogen added the word mod to it wherein mod was a short form for modding in august of 2009 jf stopped working on the custom rom for the t-mobile g1 or the htc dream and he asked his users to instead switch over to Cynogen Mod and everybody at XTA developers obliged. Now do note Android was pretty new at that time and you can tell that by the fact that Cynogen Mod 3 was based on Android 1.5 cupcake. But, 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 you know, anything new, people do embrace it and Android did become very popular which is why within four months Cynogen Mod had 30,000 active installs and it was spreading and rising. They already had builds for another T-Mobile device called MyTouch 3G, something which we know as the HTC Magic. Now, since they had 30,000 active installs, Cynogen Mod was the most popular Android ROM at that time. But then again, something new from both Google and from Cynogen himself, there have to be conflicts, right? So on 24th of September 2009, Cynogen Mod got a cease and desist letter from Google. Now the details were pretty scarce about it, but there was some chat logs from back then, which you can see and read on your screen right now. Now, of course, Google, a big corporation, sending a cease and desist letter to people who love modding their phones and to Cynogen mod, the pitch fox were out. They had a thread on XTA developers asking Google to leave Cynogen mod alone. And I believe they also had set up a donation account wherein people could donate in case the legal battle went on longer than expected. But, but, but that was not to happen. In fact, there was no legal battle. The truth is Google just wanted them to not bundle Google apps like say Gmail, anything which is not open source, Google said do not bundle it with your mod. Android inherently was open source, source code is published to AOSP and Google was absolutely fine with them making a custom ROM. All they did not want was them bundling Google apps like Gmail, maps etc with cyanogen mod and of course google did say this in an official statement and then on 27th september 2009 cyanogen came out with a statement saying that you first have to install htc's image and then on top of that you will have to install cyanogen mod so that you still have access to the play store or the market as it was known back then but then again, this was like a painful process for the users, right? You first have to install HTC's image and then on top you have to install Cynogen mod. So the users were not happy about it and there was some backlash from the users which did lead Cynogen into thinking of, you know, quitting XTA developers but did change his mind pretty quickly. Now, this just goes on to show you that even back then in 2009, the users were demanding and developers were being pushed and 
they were getting overwhelmed back then also and nothing has changed with respect to users being pushy and developers getting overwhelmed but anyways nonetheless cyanogen mod continued it still existed and and there was no cease and desist implemented by google all is well that ends well